Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So I'm hoping that this video will end with me finding a flat for next year. I don't quite know how to start it so I thought I'd just tell you how I was hoping it would end. Um, my boyfriend and I are currently looking for flats in Derby as I've now got a job and he's in university there. So I thought I would document this little journey because this is the type of content that I really love to watch like moving vlogs and stuff like that. So yeah, I thought I would document it for myself. So I'm starting it today because we actually have a couple of viewings today. Just to preface what we're looking for, we are looking for a one to two bedroom, one if it's big enough or a two if um, it's a bit on the smaller side. We usually have like open plan kitchen, dining, living rooms which is absolutely perfect and that's pretty much it. We're looking for a good location for both of us and obviously a good price as well. But yeah, I thought I would take you along with us. We did find somewhere and put in an application for that, but unfortunately we lost that flat to someone else who I think they were both full-time employed. But you know, we move on. That was a really nice flat, but there are more nice flats out there, no doubt. So we will find somewhere. I will take you along with us and fingers crossed. time no see it is a few days later now and I thought it was probably a good time to fill you in on the flat hunting so last I spoke to you it was Thursday I think and we had two flat viewings that day it is now Monday it's been the weekend in between so not much has happened there but I wanted to sort of settle into the decisions we'd made before I talked about it so the first flat we viewed on Thursday was right in the middle of the city which other people might see as really convenient and a great location. Personally, I'm not really one for living dead in the middle of the city. I mean, this was like next to a Weatherspoons. <laughs> I didn't really feel that safe there. Now, considering that we're looking for somewhere to live where Marie may not be moving in until September, I'm gonna have to feel safe there on my own. That's really important. So yeah, although the flat was really nice, it was really big, really spacious, and um, the furniture wasn't the best we've seen. It was a bit cheap sort of student-y furniture and the location just wasn't for me. And the second flat we viewed that day, I had really high hopes for and it definitely lived up to them. So it's 20 minutes outside Derby. It's a decent sized two bedroom with one bathroom. It's got a separate kitchen and a living room and dining room. Then and the second bedroom's actually not got anything in it, which we were a bit like, oh, okay, I guess it's not really a second bedroom. Um, and they said, oh, you know, if you did want this property, you can sort of um, discuss whether you want a bed in it and stuff, and we can do that for you. But we've thought of quite a lot of stuff to do with that room, actually. So we might go on the side of having more space and not having the bed. We absolutely loved the flat when we went to view it. It looked exactly like the picture. The landlord was really lovely. So we contacted um, who we needed to contact and we informed them that we really loved the flat. So that process is now going ahead. I think they're in the process of doing credit checks and things like that and making sure that we're suitable to live there. We've paid a holding fee and it has been put as let agreed on right move obviously we're not at the stage where we have the keys or anything yet so it might be a little while before i actually get to show you around i will catch up with you if the deposit goes through and if we've confirmed the flat and show you when we get the keys and then i'll probably cut short this video and do the empty flat tour but i will catch you again where hopefully everything will be going through okay so obviously i'm not in filming mode like hi I have the biggest glasses ridge and no makeup and I've just got out of the shower but I thought I'd fill you in because there is progress both our tenancy checks have now come back and it's been decided that because Murray's a student and um, the flat's going to be in my name which we kind of suspected because a lot of people don't really like students I don't know why he's lovely but you know that's just their rule so we're gonna go with that and I've just had an email saying when would you like to move in so I've said I was like don't be too keen play it cool Emily play it cool yeah whenever's convenient for you you know amazing would be absolutely thrilled to be in like this week obviously that's very optimistic and next week would still be fine too but I actually start my job on Monday but we have the deposit and it looks like they're so on it they're so efficient we only got the last of our documents in today I will update you our further developments but I just wanted to say that so guys the car is I want to say full but I think 
it is like the fullest it's ever been and we are off to meet our landlord at the flat to pick up our keys and move some stuff in. That I don't care about you, but not anymore. So we have arrived at our new flat. We have moved a lot of stuff in. I was gonna do an empty flat tour, but then I thought we'll just like move everything in. Still technically empty because we've not actually like unpacked anything. So I will show you around. So when you come in through the front door, there is this lovely little entrance way. You've got somewhere to hang your coats. Feel like I'm selling it. A little cupboard here, which we have the drying stuff in, is actually huge. So really handy for storage. Anything we're not using imminently can just go in there. Then we have this nice corridor. So if we go in here, we have a Murray <laughs> modeling the sofa and the new cushions, which are from Primark. Do you like them? Stunning. Essential. These cushions right. go. Yeah. We've okay. got two little side tables. We'll probably move one and use it as like a TV stand. Got this lovely big window and a radiator. Then we have these amazing like patio doors that open inwards. And outside. yeah, well, oh, Marie's car and my car. Then we have this four seater dining table and chairs. Then if we head back out into the corridor, to the right, we have our spare bedroom, which we actually didn't want to bed in because we have a lot of plans for this room. Uh, one of them being yoga studio <laughs> and Murray's PlayStation room and general storage. I think it'd be really handy and we can do lots of nice things with it. And it's a really big room. So then if we go next door to that, we have our bedroom. So we have this lovely, bless you. We have this lovely bed and a bedside table. Then if we swing round, we've got another one of those French doors that open inwards. So that is just really lovely. I can picture myself having breakfast in bed here on a Sunday morning with the doors open. It will be bliss. We then have these lovely wardrobes. Hello, you can see me in the mirror. <laughs> and some drawers underneath. So lots of clothing storage there. So if we head out of the bedroom, we next have the bathroom. So bathroom is a pretty standard bathroom I would say. We have a bath with a shower over it, a toilet, a new bath mat that I bought from Primark. It was £6, which is really cute. And a sink and a nice big mirror. So that's good. Closing the door to the bathroom. We then have the kitchen, which I'm such a kitchen person, such a sucker for a good kitchen. So first we have a gap there where we could have like a dishwasher and stuff, but I think we're just going to keep the bins under there to keep them all like tucked away. There's all the stuff I need to unpack. So that's just a plain surface. Then we have a big sink and a big window, which looks out the same as the living room. We then, if we come around, have a lot of surface space, a lot of rubbish that I've brought over from the house. And we have a lot of cupboards up top as well. A lovely oven and hob. Then if we swizzle, we've got a nice big fridge freezer, which is, I've shared a fridge freezer for four years, so, I'm so excited for this all to be mine. And I think that's about it, guys. So we now need to go and unpack all of this stuff that you see everywhere. And I will catch up with you in a bit. We also have our first moving home, new home present. So we're excited to open this. So we got this absolutely gorgeous picture, which goes lovely with the colors of our living room. It's so cute. We absolutely love it. And um, we're gonna try and hang it up there, but we need to get like a screw because there's something already in the wall, um, which is weird, but we've got like a little, there's only a little thing on it. So we're gonna try and hang this. We're gonna start DIYing, I think. But yeah, we absolutely love it. So we've just had a McDonald's and we're now in Home Bargains getting some little bits that we forgot. So we've had about 
three car fulls and we've got this to go but I think we're going to leave it for tomorrow. So we are back in the flat with a pizza and pitch paper. It's worth the lunch and lost it. Oh, she didn't lose it. We know exactly where it is. I've the final clean of my room and I think it's looking good. Looks weird to see it without all my stuff in it, but yeah, I think we did a good job.